Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Before we get started today, I want to shout out tonight's stream starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to be continuing our Fire Emblem Fates Conquest Sabotage run. We're starting at chapter 10, which is one of my favorites, but it's also one of the more difficult chapters, especially considering I'm being forced to use some less than optimal builds, <laughs> to say the least. It's going to be a lot of fun, so come hang out and join for that. Alright, so... I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Echoes recently. It has been my Fire Emblem of choice in my free time in the past couple weeks, and I'm about to finish part three. I want to discuss the dungeons in the game and whether or not they should return. So the first couple of dungeons in Echoes are pretty throwaway, right? So you have the thief, the th the thief shrine, which is literally just like. You run in, there's one secret door area thing where you can find, I, 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 is it like an iron sword you find there? You find something there. And then uh, then you kill some dudes and you go to the Mila statue and you're basically done. And you go beyond that with, in the next shrine, there's some more running around, not shrine, it's the Deliverance hideout. There's more running around to do, there's some branching pathways and everything. And that one's fun to me too. That one's fine too. It doesn't feel like intrusive or annoying. But then you get to like the end game, and then the dungeons start to feel a little long and a little samey, almost. And by almost, I mean yes, samey. Uh, particularly, the, all of part five takes place in a dungeon, and it gets really old, right? So my question is to you guys: Do you want to see dungeons come back, or would you want to see it expanded upon to give us a full like three D open world experience to play on? I personally don't really know where I sit on that fact, actually. It could be fun if done really well, but I could see it just killing the pacing of the game. Uh, I personally play Fire Emblem to get from map to map, and I really enjoy that part. Like, for instance, Garrick Mark Monastery in Three Houses was a huge letdown for me after part one. It just felt really tedious and didn't feel like it was necessary. It felt a little overdone by the end. So I could see it becoming a monotonous, annoying thing to have to travel, have this like travel time between uh, battle to battle. Kind of in a similar vein to how people don't like the ocean in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, uh, like the travel time and stuff. I personally, I, I, I don't know, I liked Wind Waker's traveling. It was kind of fun and relaxing. You found different things, it was cool. And I wouldn't mind something like that in Three Houses. Especially, not in Three Houses, in Fire Emblem. Especially if they gave us, you know, dialogue as we were walking with characters and different stuff. It could be really cool. But I don't know, that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really interested to hear. And again, don't miss tonight's stream starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Like starting Chapter 10 of Conquest, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Hopefully no one do donates for Lunatic. Because... <laughs> That's going to uh, make it a little harder than I'd like it to be. I'm already going to be struggling because I'm using like Merchant Corin and uh, Kitsune Jacob, which isn't good if you were wondering. Uh, but yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time.